Hello everyone. Let's um, solve this problem very quickly. Solution. We have 2 square root of x plus 1 plus x equal to 7. Now the first thing I'm going to do is to make this the subject. So we have 2 square root of x plus 1 to be equal to 7 minus x. And do not forget that this is the same thing as 2 into square root of x plus 1 equal to 7 minus x. But then I can square both sides now to remove this square root. So the whole of this will be squared and then the whole of this will be squared. Okay, so this means that this to the power of 2 will give 4 and then this will remove this. So we have x plus 1 being equal to 7 minus x to the power of 2. Mind you that if you have a minus b to the power of 2, it is the same thing as a squared minus 2ab plus b squared, right? So I'm going to apply the same thing now so that here I have 4x plus 4 being equal to on this other side I'm going to have um, 7 squared that will be my a now then minus here I have um, okay here now I'm going to have 2 multiplied by 7 multiply by x then I'm going to have plus x squared over here so that's 4x plus 4 is equal to 49 minus 14x plus x squared now let's arrange this better as we have x squared minus 14x minus 4x okay because this will come first but this here becomes negative over here then we have 49 that will be plus 49 then this becomes minus 4 and this is equal to 0 x squared minus put these two together we have 18x then plus 49 minus 4 is um, 45 and this is equal to 0. Now let's look for a way to solve this. Okay, so we can solve this by factorization or we use the formula. Let's try to factorize. Okay, so for us to factorize this, we look for two numbers to multiply to get 45 and we put them together to get minus 18. The two numbers will be minus 15 and minus 3. Minus 15 minus 3 will give minus 18. Minus 15 times minus 3 will give plus 45, right? So this means that our factor from here is going to be x minus 15 and then x minus 3. So this will be the factor. All these are the factors of this quadratic equation. Equal to 0. Now apply 0 product rule, meaning that x minus 15 is equal to 0 or x minus 3 is equal to 0. x is equal to 0 plus 15 or on this side, x is equal to 0 plus 3. And then x here is equal to 15, or x on this side is equal to 3. Bringing the two solutions together, therefore x is equal to 15 or 3. Now, if you're not to check this work, you wouldn't know whether these two values will satisfy the equation or not. So let's 
put in the two values to see whether they are satisfying. The equation is 2 square root of x plus 1 plus x being equal to 7. So I'm going to put in the value of x as 15. So I have 2 square root of 15 plus 1 then plus x is 15, right? And from here already, you will see that this cannot satisfy because this will be 2 into square root of 16 plus 15. This will be 2 multiplied by square root of 16 is 4, then plus 15. This means that we are having 8 plus 15. And 8 plus 15 is giving us 23. And remember, that's not what we had on the right-hand side. So we can conclude that x to be equal to 15 is not a solution. Then let's work with the second value of x, which is 3, right? So let's go put in the value of x as 3. So we are going to have 2 into bracket. In place of x now, I write 3 into square root rather, plus here we have 4, I mean 1, then plus here we have 3. So this means that we have 2 into square root of 4, plus 3. This is what we are having. 2 times square root of 4 will give us some um, 4, plus what? Plus 3 because of this. How did I get this 4? Square root of 4 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. And then 4 plus 3. This is definitely giving us what? It is giving us um, 7. I remember that it is 7 we had on the right hand side of the equation, right? So the value of, um, of x in this equation here is 3 and not 7 and this is because this is even expected not to be a quadratic equation because we are not having the highest power of of 2 right thank you for watching and um, do not forget to share this to those people you think will need this thank you for watching Thank you. Bye-bye.